Hi there! In this tutorial, we will explore SVG files, what they are, and how to create them in Adobe Illustrator. We will also be looking at how they can be used in Cricut Design Space once exported. By the way, if you're looking for vector graphics in the SVG format, check out Envato Elements. There are so many graphic templates and vector art that you can download right now. They're easy to customize, and with unlimited downloads, you can try them all for one low price. Check out the description for more information. So, what is an SVG anyway? SVG, or Scalable Graphic Format, is a file type for saving vector ad. Vector ad has the benefit of being able to be scaled to any size. It's the perfect fit for designs such as icons and logos, which you will need to have at many different sizes. SVG can also be used on the web, which makes it an excellent file type to export your design projects when you need to share them. So how do we create SVG files in Illustrator? Open up Illustrator, begin a new document, and go to File, New. Give it a name if you wish, and set the artboard at 300 by 300. Now we need a graphic to save as an SVG file type. Let's go ahead and create a quick one for the sake of example. Go to the Glyphs panel by going to Type, Glyphs. Then select the Webdings font to browse the various available characters. I'm going to pick out this little pirate character. Then with the text tool selected, click on the artboard, then double click your glyph. We're now going to change this type glyph into outlines. Select the glyph using the selection tool, then go to type, create outlines. Use the selection tool to change the size of the glyph to better fit the artboard. We now have a path-based vector object. This will be a perfect example for saving into the SVG format. To save this document as SVG, go to File, Save As. In the dialog that pops up, make sure you select the SVG format as the file type. You'll then be presented with another dialog, this time with some SVG options. The default options will work fine for most purposes. Go ahead and select OK. So now what do we do now we have an SVG file? Just like other file formats such as JPEGs, you can share it in any way you see fit. Go ahead and open it up on your desktop with a browser of your choice. Most modern browsers support SVG and won't open up like this. The cool thing about this is if you save an SVG file like this from the web, it will retain all of its vector data. It also makes it great for development reasons, as you can scale this image on a web page with no loss in quality. That's really only scratching the surface of all the useful things you can do with it. One example is also using SVG files as pre-cut images for tools such as Cricut. In Cricut Design Space, go to Upload, then click Upload Image, select your image, and there it is, already cut out and ready to go. Now you have a basic understanding of how SVG works. Let's go back to Illustrator just to go over some of the advanced settings. Again, with your graphic open, go to File Save, and select the SVG format. This will bring up the Save options for SVG again. Go ahead and click More Options to see a full set of options. First we have SVG Profiles which basically will change the options based on a profile. Then we have the font settings. The type option lets us convert our text to outlines. However, in our case, we already did that manually. The second option, we have link and embed. This refers to when we use raster images or files in our SVG document. If you want everything to stay within the same file, then choose embed. The next setting allows you to preserve Illustrator editing abilities. This can be handy based on your situation. Now the advanced options are related to the coding format of the SVG document. The cool thing about this is that you can preview your output code by clicking on the SVG code option. That way there are no surprises. If you're a developer, you may want to tinker around with these advanced settings, but otherwise you can let them be. And there you have it. Hopefully you now know a little bit more about SVG files, how to create them in Illustrator, and also how to apply them to other projects such as Cricut. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to our channel. You can also click on the notification bell so you never miss an upload. Thanks for watching!